Before I recognize the ranking member, I would like to note the absence of senior policymakers from the State Department, the Defense Department, and the Treasury Department. I extended invitations to the deputy secretaries of those agencies, but they declined to make times in their schedule and, and appear today. The undersecretaries of those agencies were invited, but they're either busy or away from the office. I find it inexcusable that we continue to be rebuffed by the administration for providing the witnesses most pertinent to these types of hearings. It is imperative that they show up before these hearings, and yet there is a continued pattern here that is just unacceptable to the American people and to this, uh, this committee. I find it inexcusable. The issues surrounding the Iran are complex. The solutions are difficult and dynamic. There is no excuse to hide from oversight. Senior policymakers should be here to answer questions about the President's strategy, and taxpayers deserve nothing less than a full accounting for their investment in these programs. I look forward to hearing from our, our witnesses. I will also add it was our initial request to have the members uh, all appear on one panel so we could have a candid discussion. It would be a better use of members' time and, I think, a better discussion for the American people. The administration refused to sit next to people who weren't in the government, and so consequently uh, they, they have elected to be on a separate panel. We'll hear from them after on panel number two. Uh, I came here to, to show solidarity over the, your concern that the administration continues to rebuff any attempt at real oversight by this and other committees of the Congress. 